Neutron 2 introduces two separate plugins in addition to the main channel strip plugin and the separate module breakouts. The visual mixer and tonal balance control are both intended to be inserted into the master channel strip where they provide visual feedback and control over the entire mix. The visual mixer offers a graphic display of the main parameters of the mix along with the ability to adjust them in all channels from that centralized location if desired. And the tonal balance control plugin compares the overall tonal balance of your mix with any of a number of supplied references, including references you can make yourself. It even lets you make EQ adjustments in all instances of neutron and ozone used in your mix to facilitate making tweaks. I'll start out with a look at the visual mixer. The visual mixer offers an alternative to the usual DAW display of channel strips with their channel faders and pan controls. It lets you see the various tracks on your mix that contain neutron plugins in the positions they actually occupy in the mix. The display includes volume, pan, and width information. The horizontal axis naturally displays pan, and there's a vertical level scale calibrated in dB. In both cases, the volume levels and pan positions shown here correspond to the actual level and pan settings in the output stages of the various instances of neutron that are used in your mix. The circles indicate the stereo width of the tracks. This also corresponds to the width controls in the neutron output sections. So what you're looking at is a graphic display of a mix. Not a mix created with the DAW channel strips, faders, and pan controls, but a mix created with the level and pan controls in the various instances of neutron used in that mix. These are listed in the panel to the right, and all neutron instances will automatically show up in an instance of the visual mixer. But the visual mixer does more than just show the mix graphically. You can edit those key mix parameters, level, pan, and width, directly in the visual mix display without having to open the neutron plugins themselves. You can select a track by clicking on it in the track list, or by grabbing it in the center, and then drag it both vertically and horizontally for level and pan adjustments. These will be reflected in the corresponding Neutron plugin, and adjustments made there will show up in the visual mixer. It's a two-way link. To tweak stereo width, you grab the handles on the side of a track's graphic and drag. This is also linked to the width control in the corresponding Neutron instance. If your mix has a number of tracks set to similar levels, there might be a bit of overlap. To get a cleaner picture, you can hide individual tracks by clicking on the little symbol to the left of the track name in the track list. Keep in mind, this doesn't mute the audio for that track, which will still play. It just removes it from the visual mixer display, easing any potential clutter whenever that may be necessary. In the upper right of the visual mixer window are three buttons, A, B, and C, for saving mixed snapshots. To save the current mix settings, simply click on the word set, which then becomes an X. To recall that snapshot, click on the button itself. And to clear a snapshot, click on the X. In lieu of more typical level meters, when the song is playing, the little dots inside each track circle expand and contract to indicate increasing and decreasing level. This makes it easy to see which tracks are currently playing, but it's also useful for conveying a picture of the moment-to-moment -moment stereo balance of the mix. As instruments and parts drop in and out, you can see at a glance whether the mix may be momentarily left or right heavy, and this can be a big help in maintaining a well-balanced stereo sound field throughout the song. Of course, to be included and tweaked in the visual mixer, the track must have an instance of Neutron instantiated, and in theory that could be a limiting factor. No matter how cool Neutron is, many mixers may not choose to use it on every track. But Isotope has taken that into account, and offers a solution. I'll explain in the next video.